Hello, friends. It certainly is good to be able to come back into your presence to share a thought from the precious Word of God coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. Today, I want to talk to you about the compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that word compassion comes from a Greek word that means to be moved enough to do something about it. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 7, verses 11 through 16, we read these words. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the coffin, and they that bear the coffin uh, stood still. And he said to the young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he was delivered to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen among us, and that God had visited his people. My friend, in introducing this message to you, there are many times in the four Gospels uh, that we read the statement, and Jesus was moved with compassion. Now, that word compassion is a very unique word, and as I've already said, in the Greek, it means to be moved enough to do something about it. But uh, as we think of that word uh, compassion, uh, it basically means to enter into one's suffering and to respond in an act of mercy, wanting to do something to help someone and be merciful unto them. Now, there are three examples of his great compassion uh, in the Gospel of Luke. My friend, first of all, we see the compassion on the weeping mother. My friend, this is a resurrection love that Jesus has for her. I mean, if you stop and you think about it, there she is, her only son. She's crying tears of desperation, uh, uh, the thorn of death. Death has has just invaded her home, but then Jesus comes with a touch of deliverance. No wonder that he is the resurrection and the life. We see in this, my friend, the resurrecting love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we could go and look again uh, back in Luke 10, uh, and we could see the rescuing love of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has compassion on the wounded sinner. Uh, in those particular verses of Scripture, we find Jesus came to him, he cared for him, he cured him, and he committed himself to him, and he came to him again. You see, Jesus is always one of compassion. And then we could look at Luke 15, uh, verses 11 through 24, and we could see that he has compassion on the wayward son. Now, this is a restoring love. He knew him, he was kind to him, and he kissed him. My friend, what a glorious, compassionate Savior we have. And you and I are very fortunate today to know him if we're saved by the grace of God. Oh, we see three beautiful pictures of the compassion of Jesus Christ here. We see a son raised, a sinner rescued, and a son restored. Isn't that the love uh, of Jesus? Isn't that love something wonderful? Isn't it good to know that we serve a Savior who is always reaching out to us. Thank God for the compassion and the compassionate care of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for being a compassionate God. 
loving us enough, oh God, to reach into our lives. And God, as we journey on this uh, life road, that you constantly reaching in with your tender, loving touch. God, I pray for that one who may not know you today, that they'll experience that loving touch. And Father, for those who do know you, who are struggling and going through a very critical time in their life, may they feel that loving touch. Bless us today to be all we can be, that Jesus can be glorified in our lives. For it's in his name I pray. Amen. God bless you today. And as Christ has been compassionate to you, you be compassionate to others.